This one's going to be a movement for hip rotation, especially for internal rotation. So if I'm laying down on my stomach, I like to start here most of the time because the hip joint's not quite as compressed in the front and the groin where most people have pain. So if I'm doing this with my left hip, I would have a wall to my left, right? So first thing is I'm going to get close to the wall. I'm going to lay flat on my stomach and I'm going to bend that left knee, right? Now I'm going to do an isometric first. So I want to think about a little bit of tension in my lower abdomen to stabilize my back and kind of pull um, my pelvis a little bit into the table. And then first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my left foot and I'm going to press it against the wall and hold for five seconds. And I'm going to bring my other foot up and I'm going to press that left foot against my right foot and hold for five seconds. So I'm just working on this little alternating isometric where I'm pushing outward into the wall and then I'm bringing the other foot up to resist the push away from the wall. Now with each push, like I said, a precursor is before I push and I want to let my back collapse. So I think about pulling my chin down and pulling my belly button a little bit away from the table as I press into the wall. And then I relax, same thing. I think about belly button away from the table as I push foot against foot. Now after doing this, if I am missing some rotation of my hip, and I'm just gonna show you with my right leg so you can see it. If I'm missing some hip internal rotation, which is my foot going out to the side, and let's say I hit some pain right there to guard me from jamming into that pain. If I'm doing it on my left leg, I'll slide away from the wall a little bit. And I'll try to see do I get pain as my foot touches the wall? And let's say like that hurts, then I'll slide a little bit closer so that wall protects me. So as I'm actively moving into this hip rotation, I'm not quite getting to where I get that pain. So it's a nice way for me to actively start moving into some hip internal rotation, which is a common motion a lot of people are losing in their hip if they have any kind of arthritis or, or general stiffness to the hip joint. I want to make sure that as I'm moving in and out of this rotation, I'm trying to keep a stable pelvis so I don't want my whole pelvis to rock with my leg. So I like mixing in the isometrics that I did, holding each one for five seconds and maybe doing five out into the wall, alternating with push against my foot, followed by some active motion in and out of hip rotation.